Uh, this is the ass end of one of my Philips uh, HR541 uh, MFB speakers. Uh, and I want to do some uh, research into an issue they have uh, because I just noticed if you put them in the preamp setting, uh, they pick up quite a bit of noise uh, from the rectifier and uh, the power transformer. Uh, I've never noticed this before because I've always uh, just ran these off of a uh, high-end uh, power amp, uh, but I recently started running them with a preamp which uh, requires you to have them uh, in uh, this setting because the uh, input impedance uh, on the two uh, power amplifier settings is like 100 ohms and my poor preamp can't run that. Uh, and uh, when you do that, uh, that's just such a high impedance of the input that uh, they start picking up noise uh, from all over the place. Uh, so my hope is that we can just sort of play around with a wiring loom. Uh, I do see that we have some like signal looking wiring running straight past uh, the rectifiers and we have power caps uh, with probably some decently high ripple wiring running straight uh, past the uh, uh, input signal board. Uh, so if we're really lucky we can just sort of muck the cables around and uh, see if yeah, that, that makes a difference, but uh, we may need to do some more serious modifications. All right, so I've set it up to demonstrate the actual issue now. So we have the distortion meter hooked up to the coupling cap for the speaker, so that's just the speaker output. And I've disconnected the Philips speaker because that's got the emotional feedback thing in it, uh, which turns the entire thing into a microphone, uh, which makes it really difficult to measure amplifier induced noise. So we don't want that. Instead, we've got this terrible little JVC uh, disposable speaker hooked up instead, just to have a load on the output since this is capacitively coupled, uh, else it would just be sitting and doing funny stuff. Uh, so here we are monitoring the uh, uh, output signal of the amplifier and we are uh, at uh, the uh, what's that three millivolt range uh, this actually has a decently low noise floor we're seeing like yeah what's that 66 dbv okay that's not actually good but 66 dbv uh, it's, it's not terrible uh, and you can see where the needle falls there we're at like minus 15 dB on this scale now watch what happens uh, when I flick the input level switch into 1 volt mode boom <laughs> and wow we're even maxing this scale so we lost we gained 15 dB of noise yeah, we gained about 16 dB of noise, and uh, that is just uh, pure mains hum. If we go and leave the line trigger, it makes no difference. So, you can see where I have a bit of a problem with this. So, amplifier mode, preamp mode. That's just a ridiculous change in noise. We are literally gaining 15 dB, uh, dBV of noise. Uh, so let's uh, get into doing some research as to why that is. Now that the root cause is that the uh, input impedance becomes quite high. It's like 10 or 100 K when it's in the preamp mode. Uh, and that's just enabling all of this stuff to pick up noise. So our baseline is going to be we're at the uh, minus 40 dBV full scale, uh, so about minus 50 uh, dBV. And uh, what I'm going to do for starters is just uh, unloom uh, all of this wiring here, which runs right by the rectifier, and uh, see if that makes any difference. All right, so now I've just uh, loosened the loom up, uh, separate the cables a bit, and uh, immediately. <laughs> We've gained uh, 5 dB of uh, noise floor. So now we can actually move one range down. And if we fiddle around with a the wiring there, yeah, just putting my hand close makes the noise just shoot through the roof. 
So there's definitely uh, some very sensitive stuff running in this loom. We just need to figure out uh, what that is and probably isolate it from the 50 hertz uh, transformer uh, power that's uh, running through those leads there. Okay, so what I've done now is I've taken uh, there's a signal lead uh, going from there to over there and then to the signal board as well as a ground lead for the signal board. They were tied to these AC wires. Uh, probably I've undone that, I've mucked them about and just moved them as far away over there as possible and then also wrapped them in some uh, grounded uh, tin foil uh, tape. Uh, and uh, that has had a quite significant difference because uh, we're, we've gained uh, like 8 dB of the noise floor and uh, putting my ear up to the test speaker it just sounds way quieter now. Uh, so I think we uh, may be onto something. That's uh, the waveform, it should be on the same scale as before. Uh, yeah, I think just uh, mucking around with this uh, wiring limb is going to produce a good enough result to turn these speakers from annoyingly hummy to fine. Uh, so the question is if I'm going to... I think I'm going to still try and muck around with this and sort of write it around in a way because we still have like the shiny wire there is the signal wire it's running right by the rectifiers and rectifiers do make some uh, noise which likes to creep into wires so I'm thinking if I can like write this sort of away and around to the corner there uh, we can still gain a couple of dB so right now we are at like minus 17 dB on this scale something like that all right, and uh, that's my attempt of a fix. So I have uh, cut these wires short. I'm not sure why they were like way too long. Like this is how much wire I've just removed. I'm sure there's some manufacturing technical reason for it or something. Uh, and instead of what, writing these wires all the way over there and back again, uh, I've just uh, poked them sort of in underneath there and straight up to uh, the input of a paramp and I've also taken some alfoil tape and uh, covered them up uh, because I actually noticed that putting like a wire or something along this side of the speaker uh, would actually make it pick up noise and I bet it's because it's going into this wire I just had my game joystick sitting on top of the speaker it was just on there uh, with a wire hanging down one side and it, I noticed that why the hell is my right speaker making noise and when I took the joystick off and it went quiet so yeah this design definitely has some uh, noise pickup issues it's never going to be super low noise because the MFB circuit is inherently kind of high gain and noisy uh, but this isn't MFB noise this is uh, just pure crap on the input noise so let's uh, put this back in and uh, See if it's made a difference. And boy has it made a difference. We are now, what, 17 to 18 dB down from where we were. That is a huge difference. Uh, but I think I have one more trick up my sleeve to just make this as good as it can possibly be. And yes indeed, that made another few db and what I did was just to uh, rewrite this grey wire because it was pointing down going quite close to the input board and now it's as far out of the way as it can possibly get so we currently have so that's uh, minus 50 dbv full scale uh, so we have minus 60 dbv uh, minus 62 dBV or so. That's uh, a significant improvement. If we uh, swap the amplifier back into low impedance mode, why wow, that barely even makes a difference anymore? What's that? It's jumping around so much I can't even see. Maybe that's like a 1 dB difference between uh, low impedance mode and high impedance mode. 
uh, that's certainly a lot better than the 16 plus DBV uh, difference we saw before. I am quite happy with that. Quite happy indeed. That's uh, going to make an absolute monster of a difference. And if we get the microphone right up. There's uh, not a hint of a hum coming out of that. Yeah, I can't hear anything. And this isn't even with uh, a shorting plug installed. We just have an open input. So there's just an empty plug. Not, no, no shorting plugs at all, which is going to drop it a bit more if we install them. Ah, well, I'm happy that uh, was an easily resolved issue. Let's uh, plug the uh, speaker back in and uh, see how it actually sounds from the front. And uh, through the magic of having two of them, we can now uh, very immediately witness the difference. So, which one do you think is modified? That is an absolutely significant difference. And there's the other one done as well. And uh, I thought I'd just show you a funny thing you can do with these MFB speakers, because we're looking at the output and you can see my voice coming out of the speaker. Because the MFB uh, element is uh, actually uh, picking up my voice and uh, uh, just amplifying it because it doesn't have a difference. So if I make some really silly noises, you can hear, you, know, you, you can see. They give us a really, really big bad microphone. So there you go, that's how you fix the uh, highest uh, sensitivity uh, hum issue on the uh, Philips uh, HR541 MFB speakers. You would be surprised at uh, how common issues like this are. We just have the looming issues inside of old audio gear. Uh, these are far from the only pieces of equipment that I've since significantly improved the noise floor on by just rewriting the uh, loom a bit or moving it away from the transformer or putting a bit of better shielding on some wire. You can gain, this were pretty extreme at like 10-15 dB of gain, but you can gain several dB of noise floor on many varied pieces of gear. So yeah, thank you for watching. Cheerio.